Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit. I am Architect Sonu Rai from Gladio Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to teach you how to create a custom based line with text in Revit. So suppose if you are making electrical drawing, plumbing drawing or any landscape or drainage drawing where you are requiring a line which contains text like hot water line, cold water line and uh, storm water and a sewage uh, line so how to symbolize that with text so if you'll go to your annotate and detail line you can only see the default line style here like thin line beyond line center line but you cannot see any line which you cannot customize to write a uh, text like hot water cold water or storm water and even if you are going to manage here and you can go to additional setting and can create a line styles here create a new but it will not contain any text here it will only contain like line weight line color you can change the line color you can change the line pattern here but you cannot write text here so what you are required to do you are required to uh, create a family of annotations here so you can go to first step create a new annotation symbol here and you can go to generic annotation dot rft and you will see this note here just delete this can go to create and you can create a label here and you can simply click anywhere here and you can create a new parameter here if you will see edit label create a new parameter and now i am going to write here uh, text symbol and data type you can write here text and group parameter under text and select here instance here click ok and can simply insert this click apply ok and now you will see this text symbol here you can simply bring this and you can save this as a family so i am going to save as a family onto my desktop and i am going to simply write here text one two three save this and after this the next step is that you are required to go to file again create a family here and now this time you will go to your english imperial or english metric and you can select detail item line based dot rft click on to this and click open and you will see this length is 4 feet and if you are using metric you will see 1200 mm here so now i am going to load a symbol here now it is saying no generic annotation family is loaded in the project would you like to load one now i am going to click yes and i am going to select text 1 2 3 click open and i am going to click onto this but you are seeing only question mark so this is not linked so if you will select this one you can see this text symbol here so i am going to click on to this associate parameter and you can create a new parameter here and you can write here so i am going to write text letters and can create a parameter type of family parameter and you can select instance here and group parameter under text click ok ok and apply so now you can go to your family types here and you can simply write a text here like i'm going to write hot and hot water apply ok and you can see this is changed to hot water here so likewise you can again select this one go to family types and you can change this so i am going to write storm so i am going to write sw for storm water click apply ok so you can see this is storm water here and now you can create a line here for your writing a text so i'm going to create a medium line from here to here and now the next step is that 
I'm going to align this. So I'm going to select on to align and I'm going to select this text and I'm going to align. Oh, sorry. I'm going to select this line and I'm going to align this. So this is a storm water symbol here. So after this, you can again create a reference plan here. So I'm going to create a reference plan one here and you can create a, another reference plan here and you can take a dimensions of this from here to here is five inches something and this one is five and a half inches. So there is a little difference. So what you can select this one and you can create a parameter here and you can write this as a dimension and you can go to group parameter and dimensions and click here type here click ok and now again I'm going to select this one and you can select this label here and you can select this time now the both dimensions are equal here and after this you can simply create an array of this and you can type this i want to create a three number here and i'm going to move this to second here from here to here so you can see this is three and again you can create a level here so suppose i'm going to create a th level of this symbols here so you can see uh, you can add a parameter here so you can write here number i'm going to type instance click ok and you can simply go to select this one go to family types and you can simply see this number here so i want to make five click apply you can see there is five number here and if you want to make this as a four you can simply type four click apply okay and after this you can load into your project and you can start dimensioning so i'm going to or write a text here so you can see this text is very small so but you cannot you can adjust so i can simply double click onto this and now the text were appearing uh, close so i'm going to select this one and now i am going to create array here and i'm going to move this to last here from here till here and you can see this text here and now again you can change the distance if you want you can change the di dimensions here simply load into project project one overwrite the existing and now you can see these lines are okay now so this was the tutorial for today's session next session i will come with some more interesting topics in revit so thanks for watching bye bye